Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this fabulous grab and go cowl. This literally took me just a few hours to make, a few short hours. It is super fast and we're using this bulky yarn so it works up even faster. And we're working with this yarn provided by Red Heart Yarns. Big thank you to them. This is called Evermore. And the specific color I'm using in this tutorial is called Keepsake. But there are many different color choices of of this new Evermore yarn. I absolutely love it. It is so incredibly soft. It's actually 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So keep that in mind, especially for those who have sensitive skin. Uh, you may need to find a substitute yarn. But this is a bulky size yarn. It's super bulky, size 6. So you can use any chunky yarn, any bulky yarn, um, any heavier weight yarn for this project. It is quite thicker. Uh, than a worsted weight or even an Aran yarn. So you can use any bulky yarn for this project, but I really love the Evermore line that Red Heart just came out with. It's fabulous. In this project, we are using 170 yards of yarn. So I used two skeins of this yarn. I will put the link in the description of this video and on my blog where you can get the specific yarn. So you can get the same exact yarn as me. Like I said, it's the color Keepsake. And this cowl is super simple to make. We are just making uh, about nine rows and then working around the whole thing and it just wraps once around your neck so let's get into measurements we are measuring this piece you can make this as big as you want it is in a multiple and it is a repeat pattern but it is 57 centimeters long or 22 and a half inches sorry my wrist is in the way 22 and a half inches long and the width of this is quite short it's only like seven and a half inches uh, which is about 19 centimeters so that's how uh, big this piece is but like I said, it is a repeat pattern. It's in the multiples of 16 and then you just have to add four chains at the end. You will need a K-sized crochet hook to make this fabulous piece. I am using a six and a half millimeter hook. You can see it right here. This fabulous hook is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. It is hand carved and ergonomic, so it's perfect for crocheting for long periods of time, especially if you have carpal tunnel or arthritis or anything. It's really nice to use. So this is a K size hook. You can see all the other designs here of those crochet hooks where you can get at the Etsy shop would be fancy. And there's a new release, a new design here, which is super nice and slick. So I really like this one um, as well. And they have Susan Bates style, which is this um, A-line style. I don't know if you can see that sharper edge style or they have the boy style which is what I mostly use in my crochet tutorials so you can choose whatever size hook you want and they are fixed in the handles there also you are going to need a scissors a yarn needle and if you want to measure your piece you can have a measure tape I will put all of these supplies in the description of this video where you can get them I do use three buttons in this project as well. I got these at the Etsy shop would be fancy too. So while you're there, you can buy these buttons and your crochet hook and be ready to go for your next project. These are one inch buttons. So if you want to get three of those or you can get any type of buttons that you want. So those are the supplies. Now we are using all the stitches, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, and front post double crochet to make this fabulous pattern. So before we begin, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video, links to get all these projects or these supplies for this project. You can get the link to my Facebook, Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. I'm Yarn Utopia on there. You can see behind the scenes clips of what we do here at Yarn Utopia headquarters. And also make sure you support Yarn Utopia by hitting our donate button in the right hand sidebar of our website so we can keep bringing you these tutorials even after I get married and move, which we are having wonderful plans for the website as well. I'll have to share those soon. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns, big thank you to my dad for filming, and big thank you to you for watching. So let's get started and make the grab and go cowl. All right, let's start out with a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down over your long end, and then pull your long end through and pull tight, and there's your slip knot. Insert your hook into that loop and then kind of pull that a little tighter. 
and there's our slip knot there we go so let's start out by chaining 68 or if you want to make this longer you can chain any multiple of 16 and then add four more chains at the end so 16 plus 4 so um, 60 let's see here 64 is a multiple of 16 and then add four more chains that should be 68 so yarn over and pull through that's one chain so we're just chaining an amount that's in a multiple of 16 and then add four more chains so I'm not gonna make you watch me chain 68 but once I have 68 chains we'll go on to making row one Alright, once you have your 68 chains, your piece should look something just like this, just a really long chain here. So now, going on to row 1, we are going to double crochet into, into the fourth chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook does not count as a chain, so count 1, 2, 3, and 4. This chain right here, and what I like to do, personally, is turn my chain toward me like this, and you can see these back ridges here. I like to work in those, so count 1, 2, 3, 4, this chain right here, yarn over, go into that chain, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. Now, this chain of three right here is going to count as a stitch. You can see one, two, three. That does count as a stitch uh, in our next row. We'll be working in that turning chain. So it looks like there's two stitches in one stitch or in one chain here. So these all be in the same chain. And I'll explain that later in row two. But now, we are going to put one double crochet in the next six chains. So yarn over, go into the next chain right here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So there's one. Yarn over, go into the next chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. There's two. Oopsie. Yarn over, go in the next chain. This is three. Okay, here's four. Next chain is five. And the next chain is six. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is make our valley. So we are going to double crochet these three chains together. So yarn over go into the next chain right here, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. But leave those other two loops on your hook. We are going to yarn over, go into the next chain, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. But leave those three loops on your hook here. We're gonna do it one more time. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops so now you should have four loops on your hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops just like that and you'll see that it kind of cinches those together kind of dips this down and there is your valley so you can see that this is going to start to come up this is going to be down now we have to go back up so in the next six chains, we are going to put one double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So there's one, next chain is two, the next chain is three, next chain is four, and the next is five. And then we have our sixth one right here. Okay. Now in the next chain, we are going to make the peak of our mountain here. So we right in this chain right here, we are going to put three double crochets all in that same chain. So yarn over, go into this next chain here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's one. Yarn over, go back in to that same chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. 
yarn over, pull through two. There's two, yarn over, go back into that same chain for a third double crochet. And there's the top of your mountain. So we're making valleys and mountains. So you can see here now, this is coming down, this is going up, now we have to go back down. So we're going to, you guessed it, <laughs> double crochet in the next six chains. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so now since we already made the top of the mountain here, we are going to make a valley. So remember how to double crochet three together, yarn over, go into this next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And there's the valley. So now we're just going to repeat this all the way across. So double crochet into the next six chains, then put three double crochets in the next chain, then double crochet in the next six chains, and make your valley by double crocheting three together and just repeat. So if you need to rewind this to see what I did across here, otherwise just repeat all the way across and I will meet you up when we will go on to row two. Once you're finishing row one, when you do your last double crochet three together stitch, right there, and then double crochet in those last six stitches, or those last six chains, you should have one chain left. And to finish row one, we are going to put two double crochets in the last chain. So don't forget to do that before going on to row two. And then for row two, what we're going to do here, so you can see I put the two double crochets in that last chain there, okay? Now for row two, we are going to chain up three, one, two and three and then turn the work around so flip it around okay and I mean I'm gonna lay this out real quick so you can see you can see the chevron kind of look it goes like this all the way across which is really nice so that's how your work should look right now so that's how our projects going to be now this next row row two we are going to work a double crochet into this first stitch here where this chain up three is this chain of three counts as one stitch but you always want two stitches in the very first stitch and two stitches in the very last stitch so you want to put a double crochet in there so yarn over go into the stitch yarn over and pull through oopsie yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So now there's two stitches in that first stitch because that chain of three counts as one, and then there's that double crochet in there. Now for this row, row two, we are working front post double crochets across. So this one right here, this next stitch, we are going to work a front post double crochet on this one, on these next six stitches actually. So go around this one, so yarn over, Go on this side of the post, around it, okay, not this first one right here. This first one right here is where these two are worked into. So go to this next one right here, yarn over, go on the side of it, around it, just like that, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so there's a front post double crochet. And we're gonna do that on six stitches. So that was one, so hop to this next one right here, yarn over, go on the side of it, around it, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's two, yarn over, go on the side of this next post, around it, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, these are front post double crochets. So there was three. I'm gonna go a little faster for these next three here. Here's number four. Here's number five. And number six. 
Okay, just like that. Okay, on the opposite side, if you flip it over, you can see that there's a big ridge here. That is exactly what we want to make the design that we're going for. Okay, so front post double crochet in these six stitches here. Now you can see here the next three stitches, there's a double crochet here, then your uh, double crochet three together stitch here and then a double crochet on this side. We are going to double crochet all three of those stitches together but we're going to do it in a front post double crochet stitch. So I'll show you now. We are going to yarn over, go on this side of this next post around it just like we would a front post stitch, yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, but hold those other two loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over. Okay, now we have this tr this double crochet three together stitch. We're going to yarn over and go on one side of it to the other side all the way over to it. Just like that. Then yarn over, pull it through. Okay, then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, but hold those three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over, hop to the next stitch right here, go on the side of it, around it to the other side, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So now we have four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. Okay, that's a front post double crochet three together stitch. Awesome. Now we're just going to front post double crochet on the next six stitches. So hop to this next one here, yarn over, go on this side of it, around it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, next one is two, next is three, next one is four, Here's five, and this next one is six, okay? Now if you see, the next stitch is actually our middle double crochet of this three double crochet grouping that was worked all together in that one chain. So you should be at the middle one now, okay? The middle double crochet here. On this middle one, we are going to put three front post double crochets and I'll show you how to do that. We are going to yarn over, go on this side of the stitch, around the stitch to that side, yarn over, pull through. It's nice to, and easy to kind of pinch your work like this and maybe even turn it toward you if you want to. Then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So there's one. Yarn over, go to the base of this stitch right here, right around this part right here, we're going to go in around that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and another one at the base of this one now. Okay, so we're kind of working down the post. So yarn over, go around that same post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, just like that. Then you can kind of straighten your work back out, kind of twist these, and there's your three front post double crochets around that next stitch. Now on the next six stitches, we are going to put a regular front post double crochet. And then we're just going to repeat what we were doing all the way across. So here's one, here's two, Here's three, these are front post double crochets. Here's four, here's five, and six. Okay, now if you see here, we have one double crochet, our double crochet three together stitch, and then another double crochet on the other side of that. We are going to double crochet these three together using our front post technique. And if you need to, you can rewind this to see what we did for these ones over here. But just repeat that, double crochet these three stitches together, okay, doing it over here. 
then double crochet it into the or front post, double crochet into the next six stitches, then put three front post double crochets on the next stitch, and then front post double crochet on the next six stitches. And then you're back to decreasing by doing a front post double crochet three together stitch, just like that. So if you need to, rewind this to see the repeat, otherwise I'm just going to work this all the way across and I will meet you up. We'll finish row two together and then we'll go on to row three. Alright, so when you're finishing row two, you're going to front post double crochet on your last six stitches. But now, remember I said that this stitch, this turning chain in the beginning here, counts as a stitch. So we are going to actually work into that right there. So that was when I was we, we were working row one. So you can see here, this chain here, one, two, three, right here. We are going to work a regular double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into the top two loops of that third chain here, one, two, three. There should be one loop on the bottom, okay, and two loops on top, just like that. We're going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over again, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Because remember, I said that each row has to start and end with two double crochets in those sti in the first and last stitch. So now we can go on to row three. Let's chain up three, one, two, and three. Again, that counts as a stitch for row three. Let's turn our work around. Oh, before I turn your work, you can see this is the back of our work. Okay. And you can really see those chevrons really like pop in here. Now when you turn your work around and go on to row three, you can see here that these are really popping. This ribbed thing is like really popping out. I don't even know what to call it, but it looks so fabulous. It gives it a lot of nice dimension and texture. I just absolutely love it. So now for row three, we are not going to do front post stitches, we're just going to do regular double crochets. So again, in this very first stitch right here where this chain of three counts as a stitch, we're, go we're, we're going to work a double crochet in that first stitch as well. Just like I showed you for the previous row. Now we're just going to put a regular double crochet in each of the next six stitches. So yarn over, go into the stitch itself right there, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch right there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So six stitches, one, two, here's three, here's four, five, and six. Ooh, my texture is really changing here. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but if your yarn starts to get like this, you can just simply twist it enough to make it thinner if you want to, okay? Now these next three stitches, as you can see, this next one is a regular double crochet, then we have our double crochet three together stitch, and then we have another double crochet here. We are going to double crochet all three of these together for the valley. So yarn over, go into this next stitch right here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, Okay, hold it, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and the next stitch, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, through two loops. Now we have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And we just double crocheted those four together, or those three together, sorry. Just like that. So it's very similar to row one, how we worked in the ch foundation chain there. Okay, so now we are going to double crochet into the next six stitches. One, oops, here's two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, 
As you can see, that sixth stitch right there works in the first one of this three double crochet grouping here. This next one right here, this middle double crochet of the three double crochet grouping is going to get three double crochets, all in that same stitch. So one, here's two, and three, all in that same stitch, just like that. Awesome. So now we're just going to double crochet uh, into the next six stitches, just repeating what we did across to here. Okay, so double crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, oopsie, I'm getting all discombobulated here. One, here's two, three, next stitch is four, Here's five and six. So now we are in the valley now, right here. There's a double crochet here, a double crochet three together stitch, and then a double crochet here. We are going to double crochet all three of those stitches together, just like I showed you earlier. All right, then we're just going to double crochet in the next six stitches and then put three double crochets in the stitch after that and then just repeat. So do that all the way across. I'll show you how to end row three and we'll go on to row four. All right, just finishing row three here, we are going to work two double crochets in this turning chain right here, this chain up three stitch. It needs two stitches. So every row should have 65 stitches across. That's if you're making the same exact scarf as me. Okay, so we have two stitches at the end right there. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you saw that. <laughs> so two double crochets in there. Okay, now going on to row four. Rows four through eight are just a repeat of rows two and three. So re for row four, you're going to repeat row two. For row five, you're going to repeat row three. For row six, you'll repeat row two. For row seven, you'll repeat row three. And for row eight, you'll repeat row two. So you wanna end with a repeat of row two. So just chain up three, this next row four. Your even rows, your even numbered rows are going to be the front post double crochet stitches. Okay, like this. So I'm working row four now, that's a repeat of row two. So all you need to do is just rewind this and repeat rows two and three. And I mean, you can even go longer than row eight. You can repeat row two and three for however long you want to make this piece. Uh, I'm gonna end on row eight, and then when I'm finished with row eight, I will meet you up because we are going to straighten out our edges here. You can see the chevron design, but I want these little valleys and peaks, this chevron area, I want to fill this in so it's straight across from here to here, like all the way across, and on top here too. So we're going to work across here to close this top area, make little triangles, and then we're going to flip this around and work on our foundation row and straighten this across here, all the way across. So we want to straighten our rows after row 8. So just continue with the pattern. Uh, repeating rows two and three, and then when you're ready to make your last row, I will meet you up and we'll go on to row nine. All right, welcome back. I just finished row eight here, so we're looking at the back of our work here. I have the two double crochets in the last stitch there. Now we're gonna go on to our last row, row nine, and we're gonna straighten out this chevron look here. You can see the edges here. I mean, if you want to, you can just end it here and have the chevron look on top and bottom, but I kinda just wanna straighten out this edge so it goes straight across on these little dips here. So what we're going to do is make short and tall stitches to create a straight edge. So let's chain up one, only one, for row nine. Now turn your work around, and this is what the other side should look like. You should have these nice textured ridges just like this. It looks really good so far, as you can see. So now what we're going to do is skip this first stitch right here 
okay? This chain up one right here is going to count as a slip stitch on this piece. So skip this stitch right here and go into this next stitch right here and put a single crochet in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. Okay, that's a single crochet. So we're going to do that in the next stitch as well. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we're going down into the valley here. So we're going to put in the next two stitches, we're going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, then yarn over and pull through. So you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That is a half double crochet. We're going to do that in the next stitch as well. So yarn over, go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook. Just like that. Now in the next two stitches, we're going to put a double crochet. You know how to double crochet already. We did that in a lot of this pattern already. So just put one double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. In the next three stitches, you can see the next three stitches are a regular double crochet, this double crochet three together, and another double crochet stitch. We are going to put a treble crochet in each one of those. So a treble crochet is yarn over twice on your hook, go into that next stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops on your hook. That's a treble crochet, so it's much taller. You can see that we're getting taller. If your stitch goes way higher than this double crochet, then you can double crochet in these next three stitches, and that's totally fine as well. So if you wanna double crochet then in one, two, three, four, five, and actually six and seven, seven stitches, you can, um, if your treble crochets are too tall, okay? But mine aren't tall, or they're tall, but not as tall. So now going into the next stitch, yarn over twice, go into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through those other two. Okay, there's that, and the next one. Yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's three treble crochets in a row. You can start to see that it is straightening off. It's looking pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna come back up this mountain area, so we're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. And you know how to double crochet, just yarn over once and go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, in those two stitches there. Now we're going to half double crochet into the next two stitches, so yarn over, go in to the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And the next, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all three. Now on the next two stitches, we are going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And the next stitch, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. The next stitch should be your middle double crochet of this three double crochet grouping. You can see that right there. We are going to just slip stitch into that stitch. So go in, then yarn over and pull through, and pull through that loop on your hook. But do not pull too tight, okay? We just want it to be a little loose just like that, okay? Because we are... If, we're, if you're going to single crochet around this whole piece, you're going to work in there later, which is what we'll do later. So now we are going to repeat then what we did across here from this point across to this point. So we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches, one and two, then half double crochet in the next two stitches, so one and two, then double crochet into the next two stitches, one and two, 
and then treble crochet yarn over twice for a treble crochet into the next three stitches so one two and three then we're going up the mountain so we are going to double crochet in the next two stitches one and two then half double crochet in the next two stitches one and two and then single crochet in the next two stitches one and two then slip stitch into the next stitch if you have to slip separate these make sure that next stitch is the middle sing, uh, double crochet of your three double crochet grouping there just slip stitch in there by yarning over and pulling through and through the loop on your hook remember not to pull too tight on that one then we're just going to repeat that all the way across. So do that and then I'll meet you up at the end of this row. All right, when you go all the way across here, you can start to see that it starts to straighten out. So that looks really good. And when you're finishing this row, make sure to work a slip stitch into this chain of three stitch right here. So go in. Okay, when you're finishing this row here, yarn over, pull through and pull through. And then we can fasten this part off. So let's chain one and cut this yarn and then pull it all the way through that chain one there and pull it tight. Okay, we'll sew in that end in a little bit. Let's flip this piece now all the way around so that this side now is facing up. And we're gonna attach our yarn into this little stitch right here, the very last chain on our foundation chain right here by our slip knot right there and we're going to attach the yarn so let's hook that on and pull it through now we're going to just chain one so yarn over and pull through oh just kidding we are actually gonna chain four so yarn over pull through again one two three and four because we are starting what looks like more of a valley than the top of the mountain on the opposite side we ended up starting on a mountain top so we are slip stitched at the top there so now we're starting opposite and this row will be opposite so we're working along the foundation here we are going to let's see here we have our base we want to slip stitch single single half half double double so we're gonna actually treble crochet into this next stitch right here so this chain of four counts as a treble crochet so let's yarn over twice and go into the next stitch right here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two so there's our treble crochet on these next two stitches we are going to double crochet one and next one here two and then on the next two stitches we are going to half double crochet one and two then on the next two stitches we are going to single crochet one and two and oopsie <laughs> sorry about that on the next stitch after that we are going to slip stitch and you can see here it looks like there's three stitches there we're gonna go into that middle one there and slip stitch and just basically repeat now what we did on the opposite end so single crochet in the next two stitches one and two then half double crochet in the next two stitches one and next one here two then double crochet in the next two here one and two and now we're going to treble crochet in the next three stitches so yarn over twice for your treble crochets and do that in the next three stitches then just double crochet in the next two and half double crochet in the next two and single crochet in the next two and then slip stitch at the very top of your mountain if you need to see what I did on the opposite side but I will meet you up at the end of this row we will finish this row up and we will go on to the next step 
All right, once you uh, treble crochet into these last two stitches, don't get fooled that this is a stitch because it's actually, remember we put two in the same stitch there? So just put that one there. You should end your, this row with a uh, treble crochet in the last two stitches. Now what we're going to do is chain one and we are going to turn this to the side to the short side here okay so you're looking at your work with these ribs facing you okay this is the front of your scarf you want this facing you and what we're going to do now is work along this edge by putting a single crochet in wherever your hook fits so just around the stitch or in the stitch just go in yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two and we're just going to single crochet around this whole piece okay the nice thing is that on the long sides you're actually working in actual stitches but along this edge here as you can see wherever my hook fits I'm kind of just kind of finagling it into around these you know chain up stitches or these actual end stitches just wherever your hook fits is where you should put a single crochet. I do want you to see though how to turn the corner, so I'm going to go a little bit faster here and single crochet along this edge. Now if you want, if you don't want to single crochet, you don't have to. You could have just fastened off at that corner and then been done with your scarf and it would look it still would look super fabulous, but uh, I'm just going to clean up my edges just a little bit more here. So I'm just going to single crochet along this edge here. And once I get to this next corner, I'll show you how to turn the corner and then I'll let you go on your own to single crochet around this whole piece. So here's my corner. I'm going into this spot right here. And now we're going to kind of turn our work along this long end right here, and we're, we're going to work along here. But in the corners, you want to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. Just to make a point, just to make a corner turn, and then go into the next stitch and single crochet and now we're just going to single crochet all along this end then when we get to the next corner we're going to put three single crochets in there and then work up the short side and then three single crochets in the next corner and work along the bottom edge again and i will meet you up when we come all the way around and then we'll fasten off together and add the buttons all right, so I just came back around here, just finishing up and putting three single crochets in this corner. I actually have one in there from the very start, and then I'm just going to add two more just to finish off this corner. And then we're going to go into the first single crochet of this round and yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. Then pull tight and then chain one and you can cut your yarn and then pull it all the way through and pull tight to fasten off. Then we're gonna grab our yarn needle and sew in this end and just sew in any ends that you may have that are loose. Just take your yarn needle, yarn your needle with that strand and then just go underneath the stitches to hide it completely. And you can come back and forth so that you make sure it's secure and it won't unravel. Then we're going to cut any extra. Be careful with your scissors. And there you have your scarf. Now, what we're going to do, I have added two buttons already. I want to add another button. Just choose a side that you want to add some buttons to it. And you can get these three, I got three of these buttons, these darker wooden buttons. You can get them at the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. And uh, we are just going to line them up on this edge. And then we're going to take our yarn needle and yarn a strand of yarn. I'm sorry needle a strand of yarn here add it to your yarning needle and just go through that hole to the other side and by the way these are one inch need uh, one inch buttons you can get um, one inch buttons you can get these specific buttons or very similar buttons on the Etsy shop would be fancy 
You can see I went around twice on that, and then you can see in the back here, we're going to tie this off in a knot, just like that and like that. You can tie it twice or three times and then we're going to take that strand. I'm going to actually cut it a little bit shorter. Okay, take that strand, yarn your needle with those two strands, okay, and then just sew in this end underneath your stitches. Okay, so you can sew on two or three buttons. Like I said, the Etsy shop would be fancy, has some great button selections on their shop, so you can check that out and get some fancy buttons. And while you're there, you can get the fancy crochet hook too. <laughs> so, and just make sure you don't, there you go, get it all tight and everything in there, and then you can cut any extra. And there it is. How lovely. The grab and go cowl is complete. Now you can just fold this over, fold this over, and since we didn't make any buttonholes, you can kind of just find a space on your piece and just slip the button right through the stitches. Just line it up and slip it through. Perfect. There it is. How lovely. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this quick and easy cowl project. It turned out so fabulous. So make sure to check out my pattern on yarnutopia.com and check out my other patterns on yarnutopia.com. Make sure to support Yarnutopia by donating and supporting us today so we can continue to bring you these quality crochet tutorials. And big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. Big thank you to my dad back there for filming and editing our uh, footage here. And big thank you to you for watching and supporting the blog. Until next time, happy hooking!